bag at? Mr. Lee, where, where, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag I at? like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag Daddy, at? I like Mr. when you oh, when you're right scrambling here, right and here. scraping no, for no, no, shit. No, 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 I, got I no like that. that. You know, I've been practicing. I got yeah. no what up, what up? Welcome to the Ball Bomber. Man, I had to get into this reaction with P. Diddy. Sean Diddy Combs, the Puff Daddy. A weird ass nigga, man. But, anyways, we're about to watch some videos and react to him. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to give you a raw reaction, so let's go. The, the guys on the ground down there, the, the heavily armed uh, officers that made their way inside. My thing is, though, why did they pull up with militia, bro? Like, that's crazy. A, a whole ass SWAT team. Not to mention, they hit two cities at the same time. Wild. They actually are kind of just milling about or holding the perimeter as it would be. The non-essential, you can see them. G-Wagon. Fucking militia tank right there. Making their way back over to these armored vehicles. Probably doing a little debrief about what they saw. In, in any type of these situations, it really is, you know, you've got these armored officers that go in first. But I would venture to say the investigators or the people that are know what they're looking for. Probably still out there on the streets and they're waiting for that all clear to make sure. Damn, that's a fat crib. Look at that grass. That is Chris. What is that? What is that big old statue right there? That's crazy. That there is absolutely nobody on this property. And again, this is just a, a precaution. They don't want to have any kind of issues. Maybe somebody's hiding still. Maybe just scared. And it you know, doesn't have to be nefarious. Uh, and just because they don't know what's going on. And they just don't want to have somebody pop out of a, a closet or a bathroom or any, any one of these rooms. He said a closet or a bathroom. Come on, bro. Hey, there's that. Damn. Chrome. That's a girl's body with hips and tits. Oh, yeah. You know when you come to this house. Yeah. You got a huge statue. A 80 foot tall statue, right? And you come into this party. You getting fucked rooms while they're doing that investigation and then other problems can ensue so that's basically why we're seeing that large present look that's a girl's body come on man they keep walking through there and like you mentioned this is an extreme that thing is nice though ain't it damn extremely large home and probably with many rooms and little secret areas so they want to make sure that everything is cleared before they allow those investigators in to we got the army in this bitch. That's where our tax dollars are going, right there. To get Puff Dat T. Start doing that investigation, whatever it is that they're looking for. But you can see a number of those officers making their way back into that major. This is the big main house, as it would be, making their way back inside. And I would venture to say that <coughs> just go through every one of those rooms and make sure that there is nobody in there. I don't think they're those those guys. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. It is still a wait, a waiting game to make sure that every. So I was about to say they're doing all this. They ain't gonna collect nothing. Come on, man. Everybody is out of this building, and that it is secure for the uh, for the investigators to make their way in and actually start that search. And we should mention, thank you, Stu, that uh, if this is in fact involving a sex trafficking. Damn, that crib is fat, boy. Shit. There's. And I heard TMZ said there's cameras in every single room in this bitch. Everywhere. In the trees, nigga. Investigation. We do know that according to Diddy's attorneys and the rapper himself, he has denied any wrongdoing in any of all this. So uh, there are two sides. Oh, yeah. Come on, Diddy. Everybody in the world been saying for years since the 90s. That you be doing this sex parties like Jeffrey type stuff. Like, you're done, bruh. Of course, to this, <coughs> it is interesting that these raids happening at the same time, according to TMZ. A raid of his Miami home is happening right now, as well as now we're looking at the live pictures of what's going on in Holmby Hills at this mansion right here, all connected to Sean Combs. So they hit Miami. 
and L.A. at the same time. And they say trafficking, drugs, rape, sex parties, and manipulation, teenage girls, young girls. And they pull up like this at the same time. What gets me is like usually when they cops do a home raid, they usually hit you bright and early before you up, you up and moving. Because Diddy, he left the house. He was at the airport. He got on a plane. They pulled the plane over. Dude wasn't even on the plane. He was on some Goobmerheimer shit. And he just out the plane. You know, I don't know if this nigga had a parachute. I don't know if he was, you know, I don't know what he was doing. But he wasn't on the plane. So, <laughs> hey, my man's had this shit planned out. Nobody can find him. It's crazy, man. But that's, just, you know, it's the internet. It's also the same internet that said the bridge in Baltimore was attacked by ISIS. They controlled the boat and shit from a remote. I don't know. It's cool. It's crazy, man. But anyways, let's go. Oh, again, until we find out further word as to what exactly they're searching for and why, uh, we continue to look at the procedures taking place regarding this raid that's being conducted by Homeland Security. You have support from local law enforcement officials as well. We saw from the ground shots, you see multiple agencies there. A part of all of this, and uh, they have a number of resources on. This isn't a regular raid, though. Like, this is... This is a lot of fucking motherfuckers, man, going inside this fucker's house. On hand with a drone flying up top as well as they had ladders taking a, a closer look at certain p parts of the property and so they are looking at every nook and cranny they need to in terms of why they're could you imagine just being one of these guys going inside their house like and just being like oh like just being able to tell a story of how you raided diddy's house and dude could you imagine could you just imagine going inside the house at this time the adrenaline rush you got cameras Man, they're investigating uh, this home and property. So clearly, this is going to take a while. Oh yeah, and Keefe D's going to talk now. He's trying to get out. While and as Haley mentioned, with her shot down on the ground right there, more people are coming to your area, Haley. Yeah, I would say it's mostly media at this point. We were uh, the first ones here on scene. But yeah, since there's probably a dozen different uh, media agencies. But yeah, it looks like his uh, his homes on both coasts are being raided. We still have not gotten word on exactly where P. Diddy is, if he is in fact in New York right now or in Los Angeles. And uh, of course, you know, we, we haven't seen him here in Holmby Hills. This is right off of Sunset and Beverly Glen. And it all unfolded, I'd say, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, they're at his home here. They're also at his home in Miami. Of course, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit calmer, I would say, than it was about 20 minutes ago when it all happened. Uh, the, the guns that were drawn earlier have been since put away. They looks like they just put away their drone. Why was there guns drawn? Why? What did she say? The guns have been put away. Why was there guns drawn? Oh, when it all happened, uh, the the guns that were drawn earlier have been since put away. They, uh. like they just put away their drone. But of course, doing a thorough job of checking the home for any kind of details that they can come up with related to this uh, these allegations against sex trafficking. As you said, Xander, there's uh. several sex trafficking, bro. You're done. You're a freaky, nasty nigga. Lawsuits against him for uh, these allegations, all of which he has denied. Uh, so we will have to wait and see. Of course. Uh, well, duh. He's going to deny that. Come on, man. The sad part is this man's got a millions, millions of dollars. This case is going to go on for years. And everybody's interested in the details of, of what, um, how he's connected um, to, to these latest allegations. And from your so vantage we'll point, the very latest systems. I'm sorry. Yeah, from your vantage point, Haley, does it look like some authorities are leaving the the scene right now? They're this goes deeper than Diddy, though. This is everybody. This is everybody that's in this whole celebrity image. This is all of them. They're all. They're all gonna. The tells us it's this coming. Cat Williams said this. It's coming. They're, they're done or. Not, is that my man's got cameras of everybody in the crib oh you're done ski one ski bud better wrap it up call ace Reynolds. you're done for not the case 
<laughs> it looks like more are coming. Um, I think what you're seeing is just the vehicles moving to a different location. We're kind of at the bottom of the hill. But if you go up a little bit farther, some of the vehicles that you saw down here earlier have since uh, kind of gone to the other side of the hill. This is obviously a very prestigious neighborhood. Uh, I said earlier, Humphrey Bogart's former house, I think, is next door to P. Diddy's uh, in the 200 block here of Mapleton. Humphrey Bogart. Let's look this dude up. Anybody know who he is? Humphrey Bogart. Let's see what this bring up. Let's see this. Oh, this man is uh, he died in '57. That ain't him. Yeah, I don't know how to spell his name, but uh, let's see. He's the next door neighbor, I guess. That can't be him. This man died in '57. Can't be him. In Holmby Hills, off of Sunset near uh, Beverly Glen, um, so the vehicles have basically just moved forward. You're seeing a lot more of those uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security, though, back here on the street in Mapleton, since uh, they've come out of the home after they've done their thorough investigating inside um, that beautiful home belonging to P. Diddy to Sean Combs. So I don't think they have any intention, Sandra, on going anywhere anytime soon. And overhead, you can see uh, law enforcement helicopters, and of course, Stu up there in sky. Fox. Thank you so much, Haley, for that perspective on the ground right there in front of that Holmby Hills mansion. Stu, up in Sky Fox, it looks like, yes, there are some more law enforcement, but in different attire. I shall, should I say suits in, instead of body armor? Definitely, and, and, the, and you know, and we all know how that works. The suits are going to be the investigators and probably the, uh, the, the... All right, we don't care about all that, bro. Come on. Some kind of sniper. In a sniper? Hold on. What are they talking you know, about? Surprising or catching people off guard. That's not what they want. And right now, you can see, like, like they. Why they got snipers on? I man, it's not even at the crib, man. Come on, man. That for a fact, they took the. It, All it's right. One of those we done with this video. I found another video. It says they like BBCs. <laughs> No, I, I, I seen the title. I was like, wow, we're going to watch this together. So let's go. I want to dig deeper into this lawsuit by Cassie. Because when we did the first interview, we couldn't get into everything because the lawsuit is so long. So looking at this lawsuit, she alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll make her look online for BBCs for their freak out sessions. And she <laughs> said that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. He's a cuck. He's an Adam 22. He's a cuck. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have sex with her is something fishy about that, bro. Right, right. After all the allegations, something's fishy. Come on, bro. He's 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 telling you what's going on without saying nothing. You gotta listen to these people. They've been saying these for years since the nineties. Because you gotta realize this lawsuit. And the information they had and they gave the Diddy people was six months ago. So some of that stuff was cut out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give you this, but you gotta cut this part out. Let's just say allegedly or just for the sake of it. Cassie wasn't the only one who wanted, or she didn't want it, but Cassie who searched for the big black. And she was searching for the big black, not <laughs> only for herself, but for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. Yeah. So P. Diddy likes fucking men. That's all it is to it. He's 
he's bisexual. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. He's bisexual. If he want to see it, and he want her to su touch it, he might, that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it. Absolutely. Allegedly. <laughs> so you feel like Diddy was having sex with the male prostitute? They had to be for both of them. They was in the room. That's what they saying. That's right? the allegations. Yeah. You're right. It's a freak off session. What they say it was called, it was called Fiddy's Flavor House or some shit like that. <laughs> right? She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Nah, freak off. That's a freak off. It ain't. Nah. Oh, boy, is freaking off also. Right, right. So you think he was letting these guys use their BBCs on him? <laughs> I think that, and, and me just being a trained investigator and reading through the lines of certain things, and one time I had read something that Cassie couldn't take it no more. She told her friend, and this was she she was under a non-disclosure and everything like that. She told her friend she couldn't take it no more because she had seen this dude do something. I've heard plenty of stories about him being on a yacht. That same yacht that Kim was on and the same yacht she got her nose broken on that somebody was doing something when she, to him when they walked in the room. And it caused a confrontation. This is what somebody who was on the yacht said to me. You understand? They was telling that story to somebody. And it was a female. But my whole thing about it was this. Is that. All right. Let's get to some. It's been take, but I'm sure shit. plenty of. Let me see. Prostitutes and Diddy. They all wore masquerade masks. He didn't want her to know who they were. So if she oh, ever. Oh, hold up. There's some good content, though, right here. Thanks with these male prostitutes. Her, the male prostitutes, and Diddy, they all wore masquerade masks. He didn't want her to know who they were. So if she ever wanted to. Do what she just did. How does she say who how the person look? Mm. All she could describe is they. Mm. If they was wearing masks, unless she saw them before they put the mask on. Mm. I didn't know that. Diddy made all these people put on masks. Fuck. Man, this some. This shit is deeper, man. This shit goes deep. It's craziness, man. Mm. I, I, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And try to engage other men into sexual acts with him. Mm, I've been telling y'all since the video started. He's been doing this since the 90s, since he first came out. Mm, like before Tupac and them, before he was even Bad Boy Records, Bad Boy Entertainment, he'd been doing this shit. Mm, mm mm. Mm, telling y'all. My man is going, he's catching a Rico for drugs because the white boy just got caught with coke trying to get on an airplane, right? I need, we, we about to look up dudes hooping highlights. I need, I want to know if he's nice. We, we'll get into this in a little bit. Let's go. There was a story that he was trying to get Chris Brown. Mm. There's stories about, you know, uh, those. What was those those uh 
those young boys that he had a group B5 or something like that, trying to get them. Yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Mm. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy. Jimmy Iovine. Let's Google search. Let's see if we can pull him up. Hopefully he ain't dead in 95. Jimmy Iovine. Maybe something like this. The CEO of Interscope. CEO of Interscope. Bow. He talking about him. CEO of Interscope. 99. A&M Umbrella Music Unit formed by University Music Group. 99. American entrepreneur, former recorded executive and music preparator. Interscope record. He's oh so. Shh. Oh yeah, he's in it. He's in the middle of that. That's what my man's right here. Is talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him, but mm. he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man. That they're gonna push up under the rug, and a few a few years later. Bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. <laughs> wow. Look how calm he is, though. He is calm. Wow, this is really big. This is really big because you're thinking about this huge mogul. Like everyone knows who Puffy is, who Diddy is, who Puff Daddy is, who Sean Comb is. No matter. Damn, how many times are you gonna say his name? Shit. No matter what his name, you know who he is. Orlando Brown, talking about Jay Z and Shaq have good pussy. I don't know what the fuck this man is talking about, but this shit is wild. Listen to what this man gotta say. This shit is crazy. Appreciate it, man. That you shit know. looks yeah, thick. But no, the thing was, man, when they when they when they tell me, um, like, yo, man, you gotta do this this no jumper interview and shit. You know, I think about all the reconnect pussy I with talk an old about. friend. Um, I I've been talking about uh, Jay Z's specifically. Bussy. I I just don't understand how because before I rewind and fast forward, but before they were talking about his haircut and shit. He went from talking about his haircut straight to talking about all the pussy he gets, talking about Jay-Z's pussy, which makes no sense. But I, I don't know. That shit blew me, man. Here go. Here you go. Wait, 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 wait. Well, it's, what? It, but the, it's more like, you know, Jay-Z's. Yeah, I, 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 I was telling my wife. Hers or uh, Sean no, Carter? No, no, no. no we were talking about, about Sean Carter. Oh. Carler, Carler, Carter, Car that's what you say. Carler. Carter. Okay, okay. So we were talking about Jay Z, <laughs> and I'm confused. The thing about Jay Z's pussy is so it's sweet. It tastes like coconut. My man said it tastes like coconut. Like what is he talking about? YouTube. Man, this shit is wild. But it does have an afro on it. The Pause, bruh. You saying too much? <laughs> the only thing I've never seen such an Afrocentric vagina. It was the most vagina. Most thing. <laughs> Afrocentric doesn't just mean that it has an afro. Though. Okay, well I knew that, but that well it wasn't just so large. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what Jay Z? Jay Z, you have twenty four hours to respond, or else I'm believing this shit. Oh, he's got to respond. You got to respond, Jay Z. Solid <laughs> pussy, solid. You know what I mean? You ever seen the movie when when they when they, the, the, the 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 real the black black exploitation film? Like, solid. Not no. Y'all know what he's talking about? I'm lost. You reference like a lot of things that I don't know what they are. Yeah, well, he, that's that's I'm supposed to be dead for knowing how good his pussy is. I 
need I need more I, I need more clarity I on about this. Bow Wow's put Bow Wow had you got that, that good, bomb good? pussy. Okay. Bow Wow. Uh, shit Bow wow. You. He got that <laughs> curry chicken pussy. And is <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on. I was laughing. What did he say? Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. He got that curry chicken pussy. And curry chicken pussy. Is that why he always says barbecue chicken? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? He is. He, <laughs> he got curry chicken cows on Paro. <laughs> My man is tweaked. <laughs> He got courage. He got courage. Yeah. You got curry chicken pussy. Hold on, let me do it. He got curry chicken pussy. I just had to do it. Shaquille O'Neal, you got that curry chicken and an eighteen foot fucking shoe. I was gonna say shoe, not dick shoe. That curry chicken pussy, and then they be liking to eat that curry chicken. That pussy be tasting like curry chicken, cows on bloods. But curry chicken's like Indian food. Why would a <laughs> well, pussy smell like? Well, it's different kinds of. <laughs> <laughs> he said curry chicken's like, oh my god, Adam, you ruthless. But curry chicken's like Indian food. Why would a black dude's well, pussy smell like? Well, it's different kinds of. <laughs> <laughs> Curry chicken is like idiot food. Why do black this pussy smell like idiot food? It should smell like chicken. Right, right. <laughs> is, why would a, why would a like, man have a is, vagina? Well, well that's, <laughs> that's on the man. Why did you want to have a vagina? Did you want a million dollars? <laughs> Boom! That, look, look at his face, man. Look at my man's face. Why did you want to get fucked in the ass? Did you want a million dollars? That's what this fucking whole Diddy scandal is. It's about the fucking the Benjis talking blue face, man. What? Wait. <laughs> no Tatiana, cause they was only hitting. Mm, too bad, man. <laughs> did they did they take their dicks off and now they have a giant? That has nothing or? to do with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not here for that. <laughs> so you don't actually. He's a you weirdo. You involve yourself in the actual. Mm, he's a weirdo. Just the people that put their pussies on me is who I can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Well, pretty much. But does your girl get bothered? This man's by you a weirdo. Pussy from all these man. men? No, they, she's bothered that they all tried to give me pussy. <laughs> you can take it. You can take it. But her only expectation could be of, I mean, of well, you, you know, not well, them, right? Well, well, the only thing that it is fun is fun to know that like my friends are my friends. Um, I've been okay with the test that I've been given. And, you know, people are beautiful in their own way, bro. You know what I'm saying? I make jokes of it in my own way. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Like, my peoples are, like, beautiful. Like, I have people that can not only be animals, they can also be human. They can be whatever the fuck they want. At that point of over $100 million, you... This man said animals? Hold up. Not only be animals, they can also be human. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Like, my peoples are, like, beautiful. Like, I have people that can not only be animals, they can also be human. They can be whatever the fuck they want. At that point of over $100 million, you tell me what you... Whoa, whoa, that just triggered something. Bow! I seen something on TikTok that said, at Diddy's house, they'd be doing some weird shit that make your eyes roll to the back of your head with the drugs that you take. And that's an animal you become. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's cap or what. There's something that I heard, and he says that animals, which kind of just bow trigger something like that. I don't know. You could be, you know what I'm saying. Food for thought, though. You feel me? And 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 if I get close to you and I give you my heart, you know what I'm saying. And this is the only way I could express the fact that I I know that that what I'm saying. Never calls you out on your well, shit. No, I'm talking to Hollywood He's Boulevard. Too and don't get the opportunity to Alright, that's enough of you. Bwah. You're done for. Man, I don't know what's going on. Let's get on Twitter for a minute and let's just Let's just see what's going on on Twitter. Let's just watch a few videos on here and just laugh. Truly is it. about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh yes, he's he glittering. <laughs> oh that's Mike Tyson. Well now when we come back we're gonna talk more with Puffy and 
That's Mike Tyson taking his hand. Look at Diddy's hand. Look. See his hand right there? He takes it off. Scoots over. <laughs> Why would he try? Oh, Mike Tyson probably got a mean one. It's probably veiny as a motherfucker, probably. That's the Ball Bomber Show. We out. Peace. <laughs>